In S Foundation Professional, soil profiles can model the lateral friction and bearing springs along pile members. Pile springs can be entered as linear or nonlinear springs. For linear springs, enter the spring stiffnesses for each soil layer at the start and end depths. The actual springs used will depend on the number of joints along the pile members and which soil layers each joint is in. The spring values will be linear interpolated between the start and end spring stiffnesses to create the actual springs on the piles. Friction springs can be entered for both tension and compression. Bearing springs can be entered for the entire profile but will only be applied to the pile tip. To view the actual spring stiffnesses used, close the soil profile dialog and select the spring tool. Check which labels to see. Here you can see all of the friction springs, and the last spring has combined friction and bearing springs. Nonlinear springs can be auto calculated from the soil layers. Since each soil profile may be used by more than one foundation, and different foundations may use different piles, soil springs are shown for illustration purposes for a particular pile diameter. The actual springs used will be calculated individually for each pile using the pile's diameter and for every pile member joint at depth. The calculated spring curves can be viewed in the pile results after code check. Set the number of points in your soil spring curves. Select rows in the spreadsheet to see individual soil spring curves. Select many rows to compare soil spring curves. To adjust the spring curves being generated, open the soil dialog and change the pile lateral or axial properties. Bearing spring curves will take into account the inner diameter of unplugged hollow piles. To enter your own soil spring curves, uncheck Auto Calculate. Now you can copy paste and enter your own soil spring curves for the start and end of each layer. When you enter soil curves, S Foundation will linear interpolate between the start and end curves to generate a curve at the actual depth needed. However, it is up to you to ensure that you are applying the entered soil springs to foundation piles that match your input data.